What's up everybody? Uh, today is Thursday. You guys probably aren't going to see this video until Friday or maybe even Saturday. I don't really know when I'm going to post it yet. Um, just depends whenever I can get it edited. But anyways guys, today's a big day. Um, a day that I've been looking forward to for a while. And um, yeah, you guys are about to come with me and see. I always forget to charge my GoPro batteries. If anybody has some free GoPro batteries, send them my way because mine don't last but more than like 15 minutes. So, but anyways guys, so basically what's happening today is I'm going to the bank right now. I have to go withdraw some cash uh, for the shipping company because the Evo is actually going to be getting dropped off today, which is very exciting because I actually didn't think it was going to be dropped off until tomorrow, but the guy called me and he was like, yo, I'm like two hours away. So anyways, I got to go run to the bank, get some cash for him. And then, uh, yeah, about to uh, have my first Evo ever. Don't let him see it. <gasps> he just stepped on it. <laughs> oh, oh dang. God. He has no idea. What the heck? No, uh, let's do. Uh, uh, <laughs> dang. This he... game won for him now. Yeah. <laughs> He just stomped on it and doesn't care. <laughs> what is it? Some kind of mop or something? Blitz, don't hurt it. Stomp on it again, Blitz. No. What's the command to attack? Pack it. Go. <laughs> Aww. He's like, what the hell? He's, he's scared of it. He just literally stepped on it. I don't see why he's scared. But South Railroad is off of Ashley Phosphate. Basically, once you get on Ashley Phosphate, you're, you're coming from Ashley Phosphate, right? Yes! There it is. nice okay guys it's here it just arrived and uh, Richie's here he uh, videoed the arrival um, but anyways this is it 
Um, it, it, for the most part, it's like, I mean, it's, it's nice. Um, you can tell it hasn't been driven in a while, but I mean, body wise, it's pretty much perfect. There's a couple little small little things there. Um, and then like most Evos and STIs, this has to get some more clear coat put on it. That way it looks like that. But, um, you know, just the sun bleaches it away. So anyways, that needs more clear coat. And then, uh, a little bit of touch up here, sand it down and repaint. Um, gonna repaint the uh, the Brembo's on it, that way they're nice and red um, with the white, you know, Brembo logo on it. But same with the front. The front's a little bit better, but it's still kind of fading. Um, other than that, it just needs to be cleaned up and uh, and all that. And then oh. someone had to uh, shut the uh, hood. But anyways, inside it's complete. It's got the uh, stock Recaro seats, which are nice. It has a little boost gauge or something or another. Um, okay. It's pretty clean. Needs a little bit of cleaning up, but uh, it's good. This is missing, just have to get a new one of these little knobs. Um, but other than that, it's got a sunroof. Um, just that, like I said, it has, needs to be clean. But uh, it's super nice. It only has, I think it was 92,000 original miles or something like that. I'll have to uh, look it up again. But um, the bay, it has some surface rust to it because it's been sitting in New York. Uh, but we're going to sand like all the stuff down. And then I guess eventually I, I'll try to like touch it up and repaint it. Um, same with, you know, down there and all the little stuff. It's just, it should just be some, some surface rust. That's what it looks like. But, uh. But yeah, for the most part, it looks really good. I'm super excited. Uh, Evo 8 and 9 has been my dream car. This is an Evo 8, and uh, it comes with the BBS wheels. But uh, anyways, we're going to go get some food and uh, come back and then see what we can do. So, What's up, everybody? Okay, so uh, we ate lunch, and uh, we're back now. Uh, we set this little thing up so Blitz couldn't mess with us. Um, but uh, anyways... There's some surface rust, um, and we already started, but as you can see, my friend Richie, um, he's starting to do it, you know, manually, just the little areas. And then um, I also have this little uh, grinder sander tool, um, and I already started as well. Just gonna try to get as much as I can just over the surface rust off. And then I'll end up uh, probably respraying it or doing something. I haven't really decided yet. Um, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to uh, respray this whole entire bay. Uh, because you know everything's still in it um, so we'll see what I do uh, I just have to kind of gotta, gotta think it out and I uh, see how hard it would be to remove all the stuff if not then I, I might just spray it with something simple uh, but like all the stuff over here you won't be able to see whenever the motors in so I don't know I haven't decided yet the motors gonna be coming out again anyway once I get the motor just because I'll probably drive it a little bit stock and then I'll pull it out again and then build it so I don't know, I just gotta figure it out. But anyways, right now we're just gonna go ahead and sand off a little bit of this stuff and uh, see how it goes. All right, so we're still scrubbing away. Um, I got a good bit of this side stuff off already. Um, but uh, it's very tedious, because like some spots like right up in here you can barely get to. Um, so you gotta do it by hand. But anyways, we're trying. He's trying, I appreciate it. And we wanted to ask uh, Connor Pezzle where you at, though, <laughs> because uh, we need some help. <laughs> guys 
Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, you guys probably are getting bored by now. So anyway, got like I said, got this little thing set up. Um, fans blowing. Um, and got a lot of the, uh, the surface rust off. As you guys can see, still a little bit more. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the mount because I'll probably get a new mount anyway. But uh, for the most part, got a lot of it off. Still a little bit more to do. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to be doing is finding some of this Rust-Oleum, uh, whatever it's called, uh, primer. Um, and I'm trying just to match it up. And that actually looks like it matches like really well. Um, so I'm just going to most likely spray that on for now. And then I might repaint the bay uh, the next time I put the engine in, uh, whenever I like, actually do the build. So... Just gotta you know figure that out and if this matches up i'll probably end up spraying this on the spots that i sanded down um and over the rest of the rust to, to protect it but um anyways guys this is it here is the evo throw down in the comments below let me know what you guys think of this evo i think it's beautiful it's my dream car love it already um oh and also i don't know if i got, if i showed you guys but uh the brimbos need to be repainted um because they're kind of fading so not a big deal but that's just another project i want to get the shell like perfect before you know the engine gets here and all that good stuff so um and or so the shell will be perfect before all that happens but anyways guys throw that in the comments below let me know what you guys think hit a big thumbs up if you like the video and hit the big red subscribe button and uh yeah